Hello gamers, no face plays, and we're back with more Nino Kuni. Um, in the last episode, I talked over every single cutscene, <laughs> and uh, we made uh, almost no progress. No, but for real. Uh, last episode, we talked to we talked to uh, we talked to our friend. What was his name? Philip. We talked to our friend Philip, and he said uh, something was finished, and that we have to go to his house tonight and now it's tonight so we're gonna go over to his house and see what it is it sounds like a vehicle because they were saying how it was gonna roll out onto the streets of motorville so it sounds like it's gonna be some type of vehicle how do they do these people not think it's weird that this kid is sneaking out of the house running around at night I mean, they're just like I mean, yeah, shouldn't they be like, why is your kid out here at night? I don't think that's normal. Hey! In here! What are you looking at? <laughs> what is it with that kid? She's just curious, dude. What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever! All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Oh, is this Very neat? pretty. Oh, this is so, so neat. You betcha. Dude, that thing is awesome. It's so neat. <laughs> the new Coop Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. It's not even close. So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess we got a car now. Here we go. Okay. There's nobody around. We should take her outside now. So, uh, Phil, who gets to drive first? Huh. Hmm. Let me see now. If you're if you hear something in the background, it's probably my cat. Tell you what, kiddo. If you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. You mean that? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Wait right here. And watch out for Starry Mary, will ya? Starry Mary? You know, the girl who was spying on us before. I swear that kid is cracked. <laughs> Kinda rude, man. See? There she is again. I'll bet that tattletale goes straight to her olds. Her olds? <laughs> you mean her parents? Who's, who says olds? Who's ever said that? She wouldn't do that. What are you, sweet on her or something? Go check out front already. Sure thing, Phil. I'll be right back. I don't know if you uh, made a good friend choice there, Oliver. I mean, <laughs> he seems really rude. Alright, let's go. <gasps> Is there anyone seeing me? Oh my fucking god. All right, the coast is clear. I better Epic. go tell Phil. Don't go. <gasps> what? Huh? Oh, God. It's bad. Please, Oliver, don't go. How the hell are you supposed huh? to be? H who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie, what's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh, that girl over Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Yeah, oh, dumbass. That's weird. She was right there. A girl. Are you mentally girl, insane? Huh? Mm -hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh no, couldn't be. She's not allowed out. Oh, that sucks. You must be going screw you or something. Anyway, come on. I mean, I like being inside, okay. but when you're a little kid, you love going outside and playing with your friends, you know? <sighs> it's gotta suck. Not even being allowed out. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Y'all talk a big game, but don't do nothing. Do something. Did the others darkness not engulf the land Look at her cape, dude. That thing's awesome. Might this one not prove equally tenacious? 
What will you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, Your Radiance. Oh God, what are they gonna do? He who would save this doomed world must die. How are we gonna kill him from there? We have some kind of omnipotent power. We could change fate. What are you gonna do? Mom, help me! <gasps> Just a dream. Go back to bed. Why does she? Why does she sleep in her normal clothes? Look at she's got like jeans or capris, I think they are, and like Sweetie? a button-up shirt on. Yeah, capris. Why do you sleep in that? Why do you sleep Where in your normal you? clothes? Oliver? Oliver? He's not home. He ran away. He doesn't want to live with you anymore. Um, He's tired of your busy delicious breakfast well, and it, love and care. He's tired of it. My concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Dang, this mom's kind of slow. Oliver. She didn't realize at all before that maybe he was up Oliver. to something. I mean, you should have maybe thought about it and realized it within, like, the first couple hours of that happening. Even within, like, the first 20 minutes of that happening, you should have realized that, whoa, why did he ask me those questions this morning? That's weird. It's time to ride. I wonder, did they build this whole thing together, or was it just Phil that built it? Also, I said his friend was kind of rude, but it's nice that Phil's letting him go first. But you know, what's weird is that it doesn't even look like Phil could fit in this thing. Like, it looks too small. Because Phil is like, what, a foot or so taller than him? Doesn't even look like he could fit in there, even if he wanted to drive it. Looks like it's made just perfectly for Oliver. Oh. That's what the... I wonder if that's because of the White Witch or just because it was poorly made. I mean, it looks pretty well made, so probably just because of the White Witch. Alright, I'll shut up now. Sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, he's drowning. Jeez. See what I mean? Like this isn't just a kitty game. Philip, what happened? It's Ollie. Ollie. Something dark right off the bat. Oh no. Dude, that'd be so that'd be so scary as a parent. Can you imagine that? Oliver, Oliver wake up. Your kid sneaks out and the first time you and, and when you find him he's like drowning. Mom? That'd be so scary. Sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I Philip tried to I save him would. too. We got we got to take that Phil. into account. What about you, Car? That hunk of junk. I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you okay, Phil? I just twisted my ankle back there. Do you think Phil's older than Ollie, or they're the same age? He sounds a little older than him. Hallie. Probably just by a year or so. Are you okay? Mom? What's wrong? Is she having a heart attack? What the hell? Oh my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom? Oh dear. I'll fix the doctor. Mom! Dude. This is messed up. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh don't let your your young your young kids play this game. <laughs> if you're oh, if you care about that. Mom. You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. And for me. Mom? Damn, man. Mom? Mom! No. No! Don't leave me!
sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy... <laughs> of course. But she killed his mom. Can he now turn oh my god. I mean... I don't think he meant to. I don't think she meant to kill his mom. I think she meant to kill him. But still, that's messed up. You killed the kid's mom. What is wrong with you? Let us see how this story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. What a bitch. Killing, killing his mom. That's rough. That actually made me a little sad, you know, I'll be honest. Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? <sighs> now he's got to mourn. You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy told him. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. So have you been the one taking care of him, feeding him? Clearly, she just brought him some pie. Mommy starts her new job today, but she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mommy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Be good while mommy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Hmm? Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. <laughs> mommy. Come back. I feel like this would be me if my mom died and and I'm almost 20 years old. I'd be crying like a little bitch for like days. Can relate. Look at that, it's a little gremlin. Little gremlin, buddy. And he has a Welsh accent, I believe. Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? Who? Oh, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy? That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you were sniveling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days? I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's a new dog. Different people ha handle things differently, dude. Oh, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is gonna take a while. Ready? Don't take my pie. Oh my god. Drippy uh -huh. Lord High Lord of the Tidy. Like World you. Consuming. Okay. I don't know. Stay that way, okay? Drippy pie, the wait. World Consumer. He just ate that whole pie in one bite, no problem. Oh, okay. See, it's like just see, absorbed it. Is, is, there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds. See, they like worlds along by the side of your one, and one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of viewers, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh -huh. Must be pretty powerful if he can do that. And then you went and cried all over me, and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must then maybe you should have been happy he was crying for three days. One. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by his cover, huh? So anyway, that means I better get Wait. you over to our world. So this derpy guy, he was clearly sentient right the whole time he was a doll. Mm -hmm. 
like he could, he knew it was happening. It's a big responsibility, I know. So that means he spent years with Ollie already. So that means Drippy should already know Ollie pretty damn well. Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... Hell no. Um, no. <laughs> Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I won't do it. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't do it. This is why they Best say protagonist says children. no when they ask, when, when they a, when someone asks him for help. Sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's Oliver probably is one of the best protagonists in JRPGs, in honestly. But I don't know anything about your world. He's really good. And I just can't right now. In my opinion, he is. What, because you were mom dropped dead? Uh, I like how he's, he's not even wearing yeah. capris, he just rolls up his oh, pants oh, a little bit. Uh, Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh. I remember when I was when I was a kid and I first played this game when I was fourteen. I liked how the pants looked, so I would sometimes roll up my Let's pants like him. Like in my freshman year of high school, it looked really but stupid and dorky. <laughs> but I thought it looked cool at the time. <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone at my high school that had to witness that. If any of you are watching this, if you even know who I am. Which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, you a ma'am, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the dark djinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the soul snare. When that happened, the soul snitch. Then the link between hers and you and mom's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link. And who knows, it might even bring your mom back. Wow. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. Wait. Ugh. How do you know all this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings-on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. This episode's gonna be a little longer because of this cutscene. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Hell yeah. Oh, that's marvelous. You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy, we better get going then. Chop, chop. Okay. But is that how the phrase you? goes? Don't look oh, a gift horse in the mouth? Sweet. Also, right, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. is what is that? I know what that what phrase means, but like, why does it mean what it means, you know? What do you mean, well, look a gift horse in the mouth? Where does, where does that come from? For me to know and you to find out. Look <sighs> Thanks for the information, dude. Love it when people tell me that. That's for me to know, for you to find out. Anyways, guys, it's going to be the end of this next episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I hope you enjoyed. Um, see you in the next video. Bye.